it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. I have two girlfriends who are very quirky and lots of fun. They're my oldest friends, I think. Well, pretty much my oldest friends. Uh, dating back to college days, they were both in my wedding. And um, they're both younger than me. So uh, their birthdays are this month, and I thought I would do some fun cards for them. So the one girl, I'm going to do this one with uh, the lady's face. Hold on. The lady's face is on the front of the card, and I thought I'd cut her out and do some fun paper on the front. And it says, let's face it, and on the inside it says, aging is a pain in the rear. And then what I'm going to do with her, with the inside of the card, you have a little derriere there, and I'm going to color that in. And then... Um, I thought I stamped that in the inside. I must have forgotten to. So I'm going to stamp that paint in the rear and the inside of that one. And then my other card, I'm using the same sentiment on both. My other card, and that was from Art Impressions, the booty one. Then from Art Gone Wild, I have these two zombies. And I have a friend who's really into um, The Walking Dead. It's a show on television if you're not familiar with it and it's all about zombies and I thought that would be cute with the old man and the old lady that are zombies and it says again um, aging is a pain in the rear I thought it was cute I'm going to cut out the lady well I have her here somewhere I'm gonna cut out the lady and I'm gonna put her up on one of these wobbles no I'm going to put her bum up on wobbles and then uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut her out and I'm going to put her up on wobbles. So what I thought I would do is only color one while you're watching and probably the easiest one to color would be this lady because the, although I got the I got the markers out for the old people, uh, the the couple, so let me do them. Okay, so I'm going to do them, and I have the wobbles that I'm going to do um, her extra person in. I'm going to cut her out. I like to color them first and then cut them out. Of course, I lost my glasses in midstream, but luckily, I do have 500 pair right here. All right, six pairs, not 500. Who am I kidding? Those are 500. Jeepers, creepers. I made that up. All right, so I'm going to start out with her. I'm using alcohol markers, and I'm using my um, touch fives, and I'm going to be using these numbers, and they are W, G, 0 0.5, W, G, 2, and 3. Then I'm using 26, 29, 45, 48, 6, 141, and 68 right now. I probably will be using more later, but that's what I'm using right now. And to color the um, the zombies, I'm using the grays, obviously, because, you know, that's what you do when you're coloring in some zombies. <laughs> I'm adding two more colors to my mix. I'm going to use orange 23 and 46, which is vivid green, because I wanted him to have some fun clothes, and I didn't want his shirt and his pants to be the same color. You know, I'm going to have some variations here. Now I'm going to get, I had it out here, here's my crab, 
and I'm going to use a, a, dye, a dye based thing called pumpkin pie and I'm using a small crab that's from the peg stamp people that would be rubber stamp tapestry and you just use the line that's on it to line it up that'll tell you where the bottom of the crab is so the bottom of the crab is facing me and I'm just going to put a few of them on there and then I'm going to put a little mask where his pants are and then I'm going to stamp a crab right there all you have to do is make sure that your uh, post-it note, which is what I'm using, is right up to where you want to um, mask. And then you can stamp, but you want to stamp hard in that spot so that you don't end up having, uh, you know, you're, you're not missing a lot of your stamped image. I'm going to do one. I have this um, stamp from... I think it's Stampscapes, but I might be making it up. No, I can't even read what it says. I'm sorry. It says, I think it says Seaside Stampin' Inc. 187 Stamps Dash OC. And what I want is, I don't want the foliage. I just want the gra or the sand mound. So what I'm going to do is when I ink up the stamp, I'm going to ink it, but I'm going to only ink some of the grassy part and I think I'm going to just do the bottom section. Then the next thing we want to do is finish coloring our lady. Where'd she go? Here she is. I'm going to do her in her ball. I'm doing in this color and I think I'll stick with the orange because it was pretty vivid. So I just have to remember when I do when I color the ball, I have to just make sure that I color the same pieces of the ball. background in a blue and when I do my background I'm just gonna use my brushes and um, do it that way so that it's easier to get the color I want I'm not going to have a very dark color I'm going to use um, like something in the I think I'll use this one. This is called Cool Caribbean. It's an old Stampin' Up! color. Don't know if they still make it, but hey, you know, if you have a blue ink, it's light blue turquoise ink, you're good to go. I'm going to just start doing just a little. Now this is called Summer Sun, also a very old color. And what I'm going to do with it is my sun, and it's a simple sun from uh, the Pegasus Stamp People Rubber Stamp Tapestry. Very simple sun. My sun is there, securing for good. And I just need to finish my blue sky. It's a lovely day in zombie land. Okay. There's that. And then I'm going to take my brush in brown and just go over that a little bit. And that way we blend everything a little bit more and it looks more like sand than it looks like he's standing on dots. And this is crumb cake. I think it's also an old Stampin' Up! color. They change your colors out, and um, I don't change, I don't get rid of them. I know a lot of people don't like to have colors that are no longer um, active, but if I like them, then I buy the reinkers for them. 
And I bought the reinkers for a lot of these because uh, this was kind of the brand of ink that I chose to go with when I started stamping. And I don't regret that. They have a ton of colors. You know, if, if you have the old colors, they have a lot of colors. Next up, I'm going to cut her out and then I'll be right back. Okay, I cut her out and I used my uh, Demon's Dick, um, also known as an X-Acto knife, to cut in her arm and in her hand right there. And uh, any plates that you don't have good coverage, what I like to do is, like in this place it was her hair, but then like on around the edges, it's always nice to, when you have a stamp that has a black lined edge around it. It's always nice to save yourself any real work by just going around the edges with the marker and that way if you didn't cut out I don't want to have any white edges, any white border. If you don't want a white border all you have to do is take a sharpie like I'm doing and go around the edges of their feet and every every spot that was black and is now not because I had to cut it and I didn't trim it as well as I could have. Like this. So I have this wobble thing and I had to really cut it down. I don't even know if it's really going to work for me in the end, but I'm going to stick the... It comes like this and normally it would be this big of a size that you would have to put on the back of her. So I had to cut that plastic down to almost nothing to get her to get it so it would fit on her behind her head and then to make the other piece so it would um, actually wobble I had to play with it too because it didn't want to do any of the things it was supposed to do and sort of come apart so I'm hoping that at least it does part of the wobbly thing part of it at least I'm gonna put a glue dot on the back of this plastic and hope I like it. Ugh. It's really warm here today, and my glue dots have really been a problem for me. On top of everything else, it hasn't been fun. Okay, so let's see how she does. She doesn't seem like she's quite as lined up as she needs to be. And she's not really wobbling. I might want to put some glue dots under her. I think I'm going to put some foam tape or something and her head has some tilt to it which is funny kind of an attitude thing going on and you can see some of the foam underneath her body so I'm just gonna put a little black on that foam mm, if I could figure out a way to get rid of that I would but I don't think I can so we're just gonna go with it her wobble isn't wobbling See that? It's just sticking straight up. Anyway, so there is the card. Let's face it, aging is a pain in the rear. I'm going to have to take a, some kind of paper. I think I'm just going to get um, a thin piece of cardstock that I would normally um, line a paper with. Let me do that and get the envelope and I'll be right back. So here it is, all finished. Let's face it. Aging is a pain in the rear, and then I put some sea life on the back of the envelope, and then all we have to do then is stamp it. I made this for you, and that's our card. I will, at the end, show you the picture of the other one when I'm finished with it. I didn't want, think you'd want to see me color. I'm basically doing the same thing with the other one, so I'll show you that one when I'm finished. So here's my second one. Let's face it, aging is a pain in the rear, and there's her rear, there's her front, there's her rear, and I put this up on a wobble. Most people probably would have put the bum up on a wobble, but I thought it would be funnier if it made her look like she had a big attitude going on, and I gave her a lot of jewelry. I don't know if you can see the things in her hair. This came from Sassy and Chic. This is nail art that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I love all the little wee things in there. I forgot I had it, and then I found it in my stash, so I went with it. I think I'm going to add a little bit onto her, too, because why not give her a little bling as well? I hope they like them. I hope they get a kick out of them. I think they will, and I hope that you'll give this a thumbs up.
thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell your friends about me on social media because I really appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.